So today I want to talk about something that's been on my mind for quite a while, and that is, I wanted to talk about how great the Pokemon VGC community is. I've been in the community for so long, and really every time that I go to a tournament or meet people in person or even online, I always find myself having a lot of fun. Um, and so that's what this video is going to be about. Now, in the background, I have footage playing from a hike I took uh, right outside my college. I figured, you know, it'd be nice to have some, uh, just some like a background uh, video just to kind of roll it through as I talk about um, as I talk about my experiences with the VGC community and how I'm grateful for it, it was a really, really stressful hike. I don't have the audio for the hike, but I was pretty much almost wheezing the entire time. I haven't done the hike in a bit, but it was really rewarding. It's about a thousand feet of increase in elevation, but the views are absolutely incredible. And I compiled uh, the hike down into a pretty short amount, so I hope you enjoy. Uh, but I wanted to get started talking about I guess the main point of this video being why I think the VGC Pokemon VGC community is one of the best communities out there. Uh, I guess this video came to my attention and to my mind after uh, Sacramento Regionals uh, going to Sacramento with uh, my school's VGC club. I had uh, such an incredible time and it feels like every tournament I go to nowadays I uh, always have fun. I always have more fun at every event that I go to. I always meet so many great people and really some of these experiences are the best experiences that I've had in my life. And that's not that's not sad or anything. I've lived a pretty fulfilling life. I'd say I've done a lot of insane things. It's just that I find time my time playing VGC as incredible. I absolutely love it. Uh, there is nothing more that I would rather spend my time doing. So I guess I want to talk about like how I started VGC and how I uh, grew in the community from there. So I started at least playing in-person tournaments in 2019 and I started at Philadelphia Regionals. That was my first ever uh, tournament. And I remember as a senior, I went in not knowing anybody and I was able to make friends with my round two opponent, Bruce, who I'm still sort of friends with today. Like we text some my infrequently and if we face in tournament, we are like yo what's up how's it going man i haven't seen him in person in quite some time but he was a really chill dude and i remember after the match we were kind of hanging out afterwards talking and i remember when i made top four and i got my uh booster box uh for prizes because seniors was free um we opened the cards together and really i had so much fun i didn't expect an in-person tournament to be that amazing because normally you know if you try talking about pokemon with people you know, they're just going to tell you, oh yeah, I used to play that game. When you try talking about competitive Pokemon with people, nobody really knows what the hell you're talking about. So I think this was a really great experience to be able to, um, to be able to have someone to talk to, to hang out with. And that made my first tournament really exciting. As And as I went to more tournaments throughout the year, mainly just locals, I was able to uh, befriend quite a few Masters players. There weren't really many seniors, but the Masters players uh, included me in conversation and made me feel really welcome in the community, which is something I'm really grateful for because I did have a lot of friends in high school, but I didn't hang out with my friends a whole lot outside of school. And I was always kind of, you know, that one awkward nerdy kid. So it was really nice for me to just be able to, you know, take that kind of awkward nerdy passion and be able to just hang out with people that also had that same kind of passion and it never felt weird. It always felt like, you know, I showed up to a tournament and, you know, these people might be in their mid twenties, but you know, as a 14 year old, I, it was not awkward talking to them because we had something in common. We had an interest that we shared and it, it was, it was awesome for me to be able to go to these tournaments during the weekend and, you know, really just have fun. Whether, whether I did well or not, I always had fun uh, talking to people and yeah, I think, you know, growing up in the New Jersey, Maryland, Pennsylvania area made for an absolutely amazing community. And so during my senior year, I made a lot of friends. And so I, I thought already that it was amazing. Uh, the experiences that I had, I remember well, the 2019 World Championships is an experience I'll never forget. I really think that in my... In my uh, life experiences, I think the 2019 World Championships is up there as one of the coolest things I've you know, I've done in my life. Um, just because I was able to meet so many people, I was able to see the president of the Pokemon Company in person. 
uh, see him give a speech. I was able to play people from all around the world. And it was a really cool feeling to sit down with someone from, I don't know, Italy, someone from Japan, someone from Korea. And we didn't know each other's languages, but we understood the game of Pokemon. So we were able to kind of connect in a small way from that. And that's what I really liked. And then obviously COVID happened. And while I, um, obviously there were no in-person tournaments because of COVID, I I still maintained a lot of friends during that time, a lot of my old friends that I made from the 2019 uh, era, as well as uh, I had a pretty big online presence. I was able to join a bunch of team leagues and make some friends there. Uh, for example, Ryan, Stefan Mott, or uh, Ryan Lazetta, Stefan Mott, um, there, there are plenty of others, Sven, uh, there, there are definitely some other people, but I was able to have uh, a lot of fun in the online uh, meta. And I think the community during that time is really what helped me have a pretty positive mind state during the whole COVID-19 thing. Because whenever I would feel down, well, number, whenever I'd feel down, I would, you know, go to the Pokemon community and just play some games or whatnot. Now, if I was feeling down, I would not ladder seriously because that, if that goes wrong, that shit makes you feel suicidal. <laughs> it sucks. Um, but yeah. I feel like, you know, anytime I'd feel down, I would just go to the VGC community and be like, hey, um, what's up? I would talk in the chat rooms a lot and it'd be a great experience. And as we started getting tournaments back, um, which was, as we started to get tournaments back, that was really nice for me because I had a pretty decent online presence. So I had, I accumulated quite a few friends during that time from the 2019 to 2020 season. And so when I came, when uh, tournaments came around towards the end of 2022 that I could go to, I remember Secaucus Regionals. I remember hanging out with Stefan and Ryan at the event. And I remember going uh, to Outback Steakhouse afterwards with them. And I know it seems insignificant to just go out to a restaurant with friends, but I think what makes the experience really worth it is that I don't see these friends a lot. I really only see them at these tournaments. And we get to have the shared experience of the meal, hanging out with each other, but also the shared experience of sharing our stories of the tournament and, you know, talking to each other about how it went. I feel like the shared experience really is what makes uh, that time spent so important to me. I remember that dinner vividly and it was honestly lots of fun. And it's, it's, it seems weird, but the VGC community can make something so simple as, you know, a dinner between friends feel like a... A good memory you know uh whereas i don't have too many memories of me with friends at your know, restaurants it's more so just all right it's something to do um uh, but you know the vgc events when i go to eat with friends after it's a special it's a special feeling so i didn't really do too many events in the 2022 season at all just won a regional i went five three it was fun memed around um and then we had the 2023 season which um i didn't I played in a few events. I went to Orlando Regionals. That was my first time ever really flying alone and being in a place alone. And I, you know, I had friends that were there, but I wasn't rooming with anyone. I was rooming by myself. And it was kind of up to me to, you know, make talk with my friends and meet new people. And I really was able to do that. It was incredibly, incredibly fun. I met a lot of people that day that I became friends with. And I met a lot of people that I knew online or that I was in a team with online. And so we were able to hang out from that. All my opponents were really fun. I had a great time talking, interacting with my opponents. And after the grueling, I think we were there for, I think we were playing, or we were at the venue from 8.30 in the morning or eight in the morning to around 11.30 at night. So it sucked. I wanted to die. But after that, I was talking to some friends that I literally just met that day and had no idea who they were beforehand. And we were like, hey, we're pretty tired, but we're probably going to go out to eat because we're hungry as hell. So I said, yeah, sure. So I'm just walking around with these people that I just met that day um, in Orlando. And what's great is it didn't feel awkward at all. We became really great friends. We bonded over dinner. It was really fun. Um, and while we were walking downtown Orlando, we met up with other VG seekers. We started talking to them on the streets. It was such a unique atmosphere because especially on the streets of Orlando in the party sector, you can tell who's a VGC player and you can tell who's a party person. So it was very easy to distinguish our people, <laughs> you know, um, but that was a great experience. And then later that year, uh, my our VGC club at school uh, went to our first huge tournament, Vancouver Regionals. And I think this is when my appreciation and my 
enjoyment of the VGC community really started to peak. Uh, because before that, um, when I was younger, I would go to tournaments with my parents. Um, and Orlando Regionals, as fun as Orlando Regionals was, when the tournament was said and done, I went back to the hotel room by myself, right? But with Vancouver Regionals, I went with my two friends, Gabe and Ishmael, and we had so much fun just uh, screwing around Vancouver. Um, yeah, screwing around Vancouver and having a good time. We played in the tournament, having that shared experience, cheering Ishmael on because he made day two. That was incredible. And I have a decent amount of connections at that point, and I know a good amount of Team Canada. So what was really cool is introducing my friends who are pretty new VGC players to some of the top players in Canada and some of the top players on the East Coast. And not just introduce them, but we talked to them and we hung out with them a bit. That was really cool to me. And after Vancouver, um, or after day one of Vancouver, we had one of the other Colorado people um, join us for dinner at this one place. And we we were just screwing around inside the restaurant, ha having a good time, having fun. And I specifically remember uh, it was a shawarma place and the owner had a TV like playing just random pop music or whatever. So I asked the owner if he wouldn't mind letting us you pick a song or two. And so we picked a Driftville City. And so <laughs> during this, in this shawarma place, we were having our meal and listening to, we were vibing to Driftville City. And it was, it was really fun. Uh, it was a great experience. And I don't know, it, it, enjoying regional time with friends has really made me appreciate a lot of things. I don't know navigating a city at night while talking to people uh finding i don't really know how to explain it it's just everything is better when you're in a group of people and i really began to realize that and vancouver regionals was absolutely fantastic but then i really didn't go to any other events that year because i just i wasn't going for my world's invite so you know, I didn't really care. I wasn't going to regionals. I wasn't going to internationals. But towards the end of 2023, the last tournament before Worlds, NEIC, I did go. And well, I, you know, I, I, it was close enough that my mom's like, all right, you know, we're just going to go together because my mom likes Columbus. So she was just there vibing while I competed. Um, and I said, sure, this sounds fun. But this time I, I went to Columbus in 2019, but I was much younger then, so my mom didn't really want me hanging out with too many people, and I really didn't know that many people, but this time, I knew everybody. <laughs> I was hanging out with the Canadian group, I was hanging out with the Pennsylvania group, I was hanging out with the Colorado group, um, and it was really easy for me to make conversation and talk to people. And one of my fondest memories from the NAIC trip is, well, number one, the team I used, I used Boomburst to Dunspar, it's absolutely dumb team, but it was really fun. And I remember... I went over to the market across from the venue just to grab some food, and I saw Stefan, my friend, and a couple of his buddies just, you know, st sh sitting at the table eating. I went over to say hi, but I didn't really mean to stay that long. I just wanted some food, and honestly, at that point, I was pretty tired, and I didn't really feel like interacting with a lot of people. So, I, you know, I stopped for a brief moment to talk, and I remembered uh, Stefan was talking about my team, and so he said, oh, let me introduce you to Justin Tang. And so he turned to Justin Tang and he's like, oh, this is guy using boomers to Dunsparce. Now, Justin Tang's response, he was kind of like, all right. Um, but I th it's one of my core memories because it it it's funny. <laughs> I don't know. Imagine having a regional champion introduce you to one of the top players in North America. And he knows you as the D Dunsparce guy. <laughs> so, you know, it was, it was really fun. And after that, uh, later that night, I didn't make day two. So the players that didn't make day two went over to a local bar called Brothers. Now, either they don't card you or they don't card you or they don't card you to get in or they don't card you early hours because I was able to get into the bar. Obviously, I don't have a fake ID or anything, so I wasn't drinking. Um, but it was a really, really cool atmosphere because before... Before you really get to know the scene, I feel like the general conception of VGC is that we're all just a bunch of nerds that play this video game where we're all pretty socially awkward, which generally, I'm not shots firing here, but generally I can see why people think that. But, you know, a lot of us are just really chill people. I remember I was at the bar talking to a bunch of people that I, you know, didn't know. Uh, but we were talking about VGC, and it was really, really cool to meet and talk to these people in a setting that was a bar, and everyone was really happy. I remember, because some of them had a few drinks, I remember 
Nino, uh, Nino Pokey Bros. He um, had a few, he had a few to drink. He had, he had a lot to drink, and he challenged Dylan Salvanera to a money match. And so we were cheering him on, and it was really funny. And I said, Joel, I was like, let me, let me get you another one. And he's like, Nah, nah, I think I'm good. <laughs> It was it was really funny. It was it was a good time, and honestly, I'll, I'll remember that night probably for the rest of my life. It was really fun to be able to uh, be in a setting like that, talking to people about VGC. Because normally, if you're in a bar setting, I mean, not that I would really know this all that much, but you're not talking to people about VGC. But here, everyone's crowded around their tables, talking about how like, oh, back in 2019, I hit 1900s on Showdown with Celesteel and Venusaur as a counter to Xerneas. Um, Kyogre and hearing that which was a real conversation I had by the way um, hearing that was really really cool and being able to meet a bunch of people at the bar and there were people that I knew online for or I, I, I recognized them online uh, by their username and then I was able to meet them in person aka token female and a couple of others it was really a cool experience now unfortunately I did leave early from the bar but before the real partying started I, I wish I uh, you know stayed there for that but you know it was honestly a cool experience. And the more and more I think about it, um, I remember uh, my dad when I was younger, he told me, why do you spend so much time on video games? And that's a really good question because at the end of the day, like if you were to reflect, if I were to reflect back on my life, my uh, greatest memories with video games would not be, you know, sitting in my room, grinding Terraria, sitting in my room, grinding Minecraft. It would be the experiences I've had with VGC, not specifically, not, or, and VGC and Pokemon, not specifically because the games are, so amazing that they warrant uh, memories like that but because of the community and the people the places that i was able to go to the experiences the shared experiences with friends i've had and i think the coolest thing about pokemon is i have friends from all over i have friends from toronto i have friends from florida friends from california pennsylvania new jersey new york and Colorado, everywhere in between, and even some online friends that I, you know, I'm sure if I were to meet them in person, we'd hang out and have a good time, um, that are from Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Sweden, places like that, that that's really cool to be able to know people from such a global scale and be a part of a global community. I think that's what's really cool. And the nice thing about VGC is that even if you don't, see, even if you haven't seen someone for a very long, long time, you kind of pick up where you just left off. It's really that type of environment. At uh, recently at Toronto Originals, I saw my uh, friend Nicholas Borgie again. Now the last time I saw him was in February of 2020, and I just saw him uh, walking by me, so I just yelled Borgie, and he turned. He's like, Anders, what's up, man? How's it going? And we picked up basically right where we left off, and we got to talking about Pokemon, and it, it, it was a great experience. I gotta say, um, just to be able to catch up with him a little bit. And uh, same goes for uh, Jonathan Melendez. I see him infrequently at regionals, but every time I see him, we're always talking. It's always super friendly. That's what I really like about VGC. It's, it's very easy to make friends. It's very easy to get conversations started with people. And then once you get conversations started with people and you're friends with them, when you see them at events, it is so, so cool because you can just come up to them and even if you only talk to them maybe for five minutes, five years or three years ago, they'll say, hey, man, what's up? But they'll actually say your name and you'll have a good conversation. I don't think you get that in many different groups. And another thing I want to touch on in the community is how um, how it's really respectful and really nice. I think the VGC community is honestly probably better. I, th I think it's the most respectful and nice community out there. I know a lot of other video game communities tend to be very, very toxic, but my experience in VGC is, yeah, people get a bit salty, but that's just the nature of competitive games to begin with. But overall, the uh, level of toxicity is pretty much almost negative, and all I've had is people that are really, really respectful at the game and that are really, really nice people. I It's really rare to encounter someone that is not a nice person in the VGC community, uh, which is what I like. I feel like... It's less of a community and more of a family to me in a sense because I put so much time into it and these are people that, you know, I can go and talk to and hang out with, but I feel comfortable, you know, going to them with more serious issues or just, I don't know, I, it, it feels it feels like a tight-knit community rather than just a, oh, a video game community. Because when you say video game community, I feel like it kind of undersells the importance of, uh... The importance of the community aspect in Pokemon. Uh, everyone is friendly towards one another. Everybody really 
really helps one another out. I remember um, this, actually this audio is going to go over what the hike entails, so I'll probably have it just be some like blank audio at the end. Uh, but I remember back in 2020, um, there was someone from the Latin American uh, community who his, I, f I forget his name exactly, but his mother or his aunt or his mother, I think it was his aunt, ended up getting cancer. And so he had a charity tournament held for himself or not for himself, but uh, held so he could raise money for his aunt so she could go through uh, surgery for cancer, her cancer. And I remember so many people signed up and played and donated. I donated uh, $100 to help her out. Um, and a lot of other people donated a significant amount. What I really like about the VGC community is that we're there to help everyone out. You know, I don't know this guy. I've never met him. I probably never will. Um, I know nothing about him, but what I know is he's a person in our community that needs help, and so we're going to help him. And I think that's not just a me thing, that's just the overall Pokemon community. From interacting with other people, it, that's the general uh, consensus. Not that, you know, you have to donate money to someone, but the idea that if someone needs help, we're there to support you. It's not just a network so we can, it's not just a community based upon the fact that we want to play video games with each other. It's a community based upon the fact that we play video games with each other, but we're also a tight-knit community and family at the same time. And I think that's what's really great about the Pokemon community. Um, a couple other things I wanted to touch on specifically is the start to this season and my uh, a couple other regional experiences I've had. So this year, uh, as well as the VGC club uh, at my school, uh, we went to Sacramento, and I have to say that was uh, some of the most fun I've had at a regional. I was able to meet a lot of great people, and I have a lot of experiences there that I'm going to, I, I guess, like keep for life. Honestly, it was um, it, it was really fun. It was, it was really neat because I'm now at the point where I know a lot of top players in the community, and I think that makes it really cool because you know top players in the community, which means that. The people in my club who maybe weren't as experienced or haven't played VGC for long weren't able to interact with top players. So that was a really, really cool feeling. As well as I also, you know, I know top players, but I also know a lot of new players. And so it's very easy for me to talk to new players and, and you know, kind of get their perspectives as well. And what what's really awesome is I remember talking to this one guy and he made this one point saying that he was really new to the VGC community, but he was extremely surprised at how supportive and welcoming everybody was. Um, and I know when communities say that there tends to be a lot of toxicity, but in my experience, there has been little to no toxicity towards me, uh, in this community. It's been extremely positive and I hundred percent agree with him. And so it's really cool seeing someone that, you know, just got into the community as having such a positive experience. Um, but after Sacramento, I've gone to a few locals and I got to say the local scene. And now that I'm older and now that I'm more involved, it, it's been insanely fun. Even when I don't do well at events, to, uh, catching up with people from the local Colorado scene has been absolutely fun. Uh, ha has been insane because now I'm at the point where, you know, I'm older, so I'm not, you know, I can less, it's less awkward to just talk about whatever with other adults. So, you know, I'll be talking to people and it doesn't even have to be VGC stuff. It can be related to literally whatever. Um, but it's more of a hangout spot rather than uh, just go and play video games. And so that's what I really like about it. And then I guess I'll wrap this up with uh, my experience at Toronto. Toronto Originals just happened. I was able to make day two, which was absolutely incredible. I had a wonderful time meeting a lot of my friends and it's an experience I will never forget, honestly. I uh, again, I've noticed that more and more as I've gotten involved with the community, these experiences keep getting to the point where I just won't forget them. Um, but at Toronto Regionals, uh, I was able to meet up with, or able to make friends with a lot of top players. Actually, I, uh, I wouldn't say we're friends, but we're acquaintances now. Uh, Riley Factura, um, we had a pretty cool conversation outside the venue. Uh, he came up to me and actually talked to me and said, aren't you the Dedan Sports guy from NAIC? So the number one player in the world recognized me and it was able to, and we had a pretty cool conversation about that. And then we faced and he whooped my ass, but it was fun. I, maybe I'm rambling here, but I think, I think I'm going to wrap it up by saying that, um, the VGC community, how do, how do I phrase this? I think when people look into competitive Pokemon, especially VGC, they might not understand why people invest so much time into it. I've put in thousands of hours of my life into this game, and to those people, and to a lot of people, they won't understand why, because 
that is a ridiculous amount of time investment into a, a game where someone might not see the payoff. But the amount of enjoyment I get through the community and through the life experiences that I've had completely warrant the amount of time I put into it. Um, and that makes it one of the best things that I do. I love playing BGC. I love the community aspect. And every time I go to an event, I know that I'm not gonna walk away without a good memory. And to me, that makes VGC worth it. Um, so yeah, I, I guess that's kind of what I, what I want to talk about today. Just talk about like why I'm thankful for the community and like what the community means to me, I guess. Um, don't really have much else to say, but I hope you guys enjoyed the hiking video. I don't know what I'm going to put in here for like filler uh, footage, but uh, uh, maybe it's gonna be black, I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button down below and uh, subscribe, peace.